Yeah, we're on Britain and Western right now. You can see the road closed signs and it's really created a traffic headache, but those cones go all the way down Britain, even to impact these business and business owners tell us that they can see the light at the tunnel, but they have seen all the headaches. It's kind of like I'm standing around twiddling my thumbs, just waiting for people to walk in and cones, closures and continued construction. That's been the reality for drivers and local businesses in the Britain district for months. This was supposed to take about two months and two months have passed and now they're just adding more construction to it. And while businesses say they see benefits, it is going to come back and be a more vibrant spot, a safer spot, better lighting, better everything for our guests that are coming in and out. They also say the delays and detours have impacted business. We're excited about what they're doing for the district, but uh, this is kind of this summer has been the slowest that we've been since COVID. Uh, which is when we opened. Business has been on the decline for the last few months. Now local businesses say they hope residents continue to show support and remember their doors are open. We love the area. We wanted to come here for that strategic reason, just to be a part of that growth and everything going on here in the Britain District. Now, Britain and Western will remain closed for railroad reconstruction throughout the rest of the week. The city of Oklahoma City says that this road here, Britain Road from Western to I-235 is complete, but there are still streetscape and sidewalk projects that will continue through the fall. Reporting live, Elise Jones, KOCO 5 News.